Hello, Maisie here. I have been messing around for a week now trying to get this carrier to work that I've been talking about. I changed tack a little bit and went for a spaceborne carrier instead, which I thought would be pretty cool. So this is the Shroud class. Well, will become the Shroud class. Spaceborne carrier, but at the moment it's just prototype. It's not finished. It will be bedecked in probes and other equipment. To be honest, I am quite sick of the sight of it now. It sucked up so much of my time. But I've tried to make a hangar on this, as I think a carrier should be. I could just attach ships to the side of it, but I thought it'd be nice to make a hangar, and um, which is pretty cool and looks amazing and feels amazing. But it doesn't really work how I wanted it to. Um, it's become it's becoming very problematic. This fighter, it's a torpedo fighter, is attached to the bulkhead here um, by some docking ports in a little system I've devised for reloading armament so I can just reload these things in space. This is the fighter I've put in. This is a Nero Mark II um, torpedo fighter. There's a torpedoes on the side there, very, very long range, um, powered by a Oscar fuel tank. Proven to be quite effective actually, they go bang quite nicely. But what I did is build a carrier around that ship, which was necessary because of the reloading thing I was doing at the front there. I needed to get the spacing exactly right. So I built this ship around the fighter and then put it into space, which is much easier said than done. And so with high expectations, I begin testing in space. But when I undock the fighter, it tears the hangar apart. Worse still, it sends the carrier into an uncontrolled spin, always the same way. So there's obviously some sort of contradictory forces going on. I try to correct this, I try to get it out, but the ship gets immediately stuck and blows up. So, very infuriating. So infuriating, in fact, I've decided to blow it up, purely to make myself feel a bit better about it. And So this is just a fighter I've placed on top of a couple of rockets to get it into orbit. I don't really care. I just want it in orbit. This is an ion fighter, so it only works in space. I've got the carrier up there once again complete on an auto save. So I just want to come in, test these torpedoes, good way to test it in fact, and um, see if I can get a kill on it and blow it up. And I'm going to save it after that and leave it blown up as a monument to my mistake. Even if I decide to shelf this project, I will keep this Nero fighter because it is quite a lot of fun. Um, it's ion driven, four ion engines, four sails to power those ion engines. And that's the only drive it has. Other than that, it's just um, RCS thrusters, which I didn't have on some of my old ships to save weight. But this is primarily for docking in the carrier. So it does have RCS thrusters, which makes it quite versatile because it doesn't use a lot of the propellant. So you can actually use it um, as an impulse engine as well when um, you get close to your target. So it's quite good. I had to take off at night again because I need to have the sun above me through this and because of the way this is configured I get full power at dawn and dusk rather than at midday. So at this point here I'm just boosting as hard as I can which is not much with iron engines just to get my far side of my orbit up to match the station. I did give no thought to um, where the station would be when I took off so I've had to um, walk around a few times till I'm in the right place. I call it a station but it's not is it? It's a carrier. I'm just fine tuning my orbit here for the next time round. So here it is, the bloody carrier. I will have my revenge. Just need to kill our speed difference here. Put these iron engines on for the last time. And then I'll collapse them away and, like I said, go on the RCS impulse from here because it's much more easy to maneuver and maneuvers in every direction, unlike these solar panels. So. Let's see if these torpedoes are going to cut the mustard. They do go bang quite nicely, but they have a very long range. So I'm going to try and hit this from much further away than I have before because they're very straight when they fire as well. I mean, in fact, the range is so long, you could probably bombard Duna from here if you could get the trajectory right. But I'm just using this target computer now to aim up like I was before. Much easier with RCS. It's looking quite good. And let's fire them. I'm going to flick to the next target here and follow it in. Check that they're going straight. It does look like the convergence is slightly off, but it's straight enough. This one looks like it's almost on. Oh, hit! Oh, lovely! There you go. That's 
sawed it in half, I think. It's lost its entire rear engine assembly. That'll teach you for going inexplicably wrong on me, won't it, eh? Sodding thing. So one of those torpedoes did hit. It is a confirmed kill. It no longer has any engines. It would have been nice to have hit it somewhere a little bit more sensitive. Getting one right in the hangar would have been quite nice. Um, but that will do. That is disabled. Let's go and have a little closer look at the wreckage there. So I think I'll leave this hanging here for eternity as a testament to my foolishness trying to get this thing to work was a mistake. It's too cool and things that are too cool won't work. I haven't given up entirely. I will try something else but maybe not with the complicated reloading system because that is what caused the problem I think. If I could build the carrier from the cockpit down and then have ships later come and dock to it will be better but it means I'll have to have a single torpedo on the nose instead of in the wings but that's probably what I'll do. Let's put these ion engines and leave the scene of the crime and uh, this has actually got extreme range now I've got rid of the torpedoes it could really get anywhere but it couldn't land anywhere without the carrier so one's reliant on the other so both of you can sod off really <laughs> Bye for now.